Hit a nasty. All right, welcome back to Third Inches. It's episode 12, week eight, going into week nine of the NFL season. We are here. The Eagles are 7-0, and and the trade deadline was fucking bananas today. I think we had, I think there, it said an NFL record 10 trades happened today. Yeah, that's which, crazy. Which is wild. I think. It felt like the NBA today. Yeah. I really? Do. Yeah. Cause it's like, there was like basically Woj bomb, but chef yeah. bomb after chef bomb. Well, it's so funny. Cause like, I love the trade deadline in the NBA. Cause like, yeah. I feel like that actually matters. Like trades in football are rarely yeah. as important, but today there was like, some of them were actually like pretty deep. Like you were Big. like, Oh wow. This Big, is like, yeah. I thought the worst trade that went through was the Br- Bradley Chubb trade. He yes. went to the Dolphins, right? He went to the Dolphins. Dolphins I, traded, like, they got three guys, didn't they? Yeah, they got yeah. him, they got Jeff Wilson. And they got a, a safety, like an unnamed from, like, the Bills or something. Yeah, Matt Dillon. was, like, very last. Yeah, that guy. Some some white-ass name like that. He's, and, the, he's the guy from There's Something About Mary. Oh. Uh, yeah, it's it was it was genuinely like a, <laughs> like a two-white guy first name. I believe name. it. I believe it. Uh, but... Bradley Chubb, because I, 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 you know, I, I love DN, so I'm like, I remember he was really good his rookie year, and so I was like, how has Bradley Chubb been? Because you haven't He's heard shit. He's got like shit. five and a half sacks this year, right? Dude, I'm, pre- I'm pretty sure he doesn't have any sacks this year. But I saw a tweet. Yeah, okay. That said, because someone was like mid-trade. And <laughs> it's a, yeah, they were like announced. They were like Bradley Chubb to the Dolphins, and the first comment was like mid. <laughs> and then the guy replied to him. He was like five and a half sacks is not mid for halfway through the season. I was like, oh, okay. Okay, for you're right. a first right. rounder, though, that's tough. He has it was five, for a first? He yeah. Has, yeah, so he has five and a half this season, which is good. Yeah, you're right. That's good. That's good. But if you look, okay, so his, his first year in 2018, he had 12 sacks. Then he only played four games. Then he played 14 games and only had seven. He had seven and a half. Then he played seven games and had zero. He hasn't played a full season in three seasons either, wow. which is alarming. Young. They've been for injuries, too, yeah. and like – that's hard to ignore. So I just thought it was crazy that they gave up a first, a fourth, and Chase Edmonds. And then they got back, uh, obviously, Bradley Chubb and, like, a conditional fifth-round pick or some mm. shit. Yeah. Wow. So that's I, I felt like that's a lot to give up for a guy who's been mediocre. I mean, his best season is 12 and a half sacks. That's not bad, but that's not first-round pick material. That was a while ago. Yeah. He was, like, the fourth overall pick, right? He was, yeah. Uh, he was uh, up there. Fun fact, he's a uh, – he's a uh, – Nick Chubb's cousin. He is? Yeah. Well, I mean, I guess Makes I probably sense. should have guessed They're that. They're from a small town in Georgia. Is this like the Mike Smith thing where it's, where it's this is another person from 10 things I like about you or whatever? No. I, first off, I said there's something about Mary. Okay, my bad. Second <laughs> off, no, I just saw a TikTok mm. about Bradley, about Bradley and Nick Chubb one time. Yeah. yeah. I like that a lot when there's like when people are related in the league yeah it's super cool it's I always a good it's always a good story even if they're just like cousins and shit like the digs that because trayvon and trayvon and stefan they're are cousins right? they're another brothers oh yeah. they're brothers okay yeah. Hell yeah. because they would guard each other that's why oh, okay yeah. he plays corner and he plays receiver that makes sense have i you thought seen, have you seen the video of trayvon diggs kid oh he's uh, the cutest kid on the dude he's he has dope. a little helmet on and dude he just goes one? he goes he first off he calls him trayvon mm-hmm. like he like he sits in the stands he's like let's go trayvon he's like make a play and he's like <laughs> oh, four yeah, yeah, yeah and then he just like cheers and everything and he's like we need to get that money dad like it's <laughs> funny like, <laughs> was this when they were on hard knocks or whatever i, I know it was i think, I think it, just, it was like last season and happens, happens, yeah. I, you know he was probably mic'd up so they okay. like cut to his kid or something that's cool though that's super cool um the other one, the other crazy one is Calvin Ridley to the Jags. That's tight. And I and I feel like this, okay, so Calvin Ridley to the Jags makes Claypool to the Bears a worse pick because the Bears gave up a, a second. second round pick and the Jags gave up a second and uh, potentially a third round, but as low as a fifth round pick. It's like one of those, it's, so it's. Well, I, th- I think that's the best trade of the day is the Calvin Ridley one. Yeah, yeah. They got him for, like, he's – he's Because he's, he's good. He's great. And yeah. he's going to thrive in that offense with Christian Kirk there, too. Yeah. And, like – And they needed – yeah, like, they they got Trevor, and you're like, all right, now's the time. you got to give him some weapons. Yeah, he's at don't, least – he's starting to play better, right. too. It's like because if you don't give him weapons, get, you're yeah. like, you're never going to – because if he doesn't start getting playing like the player who's supposed to be, then you're like, oh, now we know, and we can trade him, and we can draft right. someone else. But, like, if you don't surround him with fucking – that's why I like that the Bears did that because Justin Fields has actually been playing pretty well the past yeah. couple of weeks, and they were like, you know what? Let's get somebody other than fucking Darnell Mooney. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it was Claypool. Claypool's not great, but it is it is just another option right. so that if if he looks great, they can go after. Right, that's a second. I was like, that's too much. That's what I'm saying. That's what a made third, I think maybe, I think but when you see Ridley going, like you could have got Ridley for an, an a fifth round, an extra fifth round thrown in instead of Claypool. 
Yeah. That's crazy. He's so much better. Well, I guess they needed, they wanted it now. But the know. Bears aren't in contention this year. They also just but, traded Roquan Smith, Robert Quinn, and ate the cap. So they're clearly in a rebuilding year. That's yeah. well, no, that's what I'm saying. I think they're just trying to surround Fields. They're like, all right, let's see if this is our guy. We yeah. need to go get him someone to play. I'll tell you what I'm upset about. The Packers offered a second round pick too, because I wanted I wanted Claypool to go to the Packers mm -hmm. because I just like. I'm not – I don't know what it is. I don't like the fact that Aaron Rodgers and Tom Brady are playing like dog shit. Like, it's kind of yeah, sad. It may, uh, yeah, no, it's, so a, it's upsetting. This is uh, – literally, I'm not kidding. I've never known a world without Tom Brady. <laughs> think, yeah. of, think about that. Yeah. I'm 23 years old. Tom Brady's one of the oldest memories I – literally, one of my first, like, memories is the Super Bowl. He's in, what, his 22nd season or something? So it makes sense. So, like, 20 – God, he's got to be season. going – man. Because he's 44. Wife left him. Yeah, just officially the I mean, this is going to go down as one of the worst decisions by a man ever. I know. He lost his family. He had nothing left to, to prove. lose th three straight games for like what the first time in like 15 years. Yeah. Like exactly, he had nothing left to prove. It's like, and it was obvious you're not winning this year. Yeah, they were not. Yeah, they're not as good. Why as come back? Used to be, yeah. God. He yeah. just rough can't decision. Get away, and like, do you think he's had sex with someone else since? Like, or do you think that's not even on? His I don't mind? think he cares about. That's sex. That's what I'm saying. I don't oh, think it matters to that's him. That's a good Football point. Football is the only thing that matters. I bet Giselle's gonna go get her puss banged out so great by like a dumb dude. <laughs> I really hope. Change her I life. hope to God she dates somebody cool. Yeah. Hey, dude. Pete Davidson. Pete Davidson's he's on the waiver wire right was, now. That's what was so funny. <laughs> he's trying so to funny. fucking claim her as, as soon as possible. As soon as they said that he was single, they were like, quick, somebody find Pete Davidson. <laughs> yeah. They were like, he, like, Tom Brady needs to lock Pete <laughs> yeah. Davidson in a fucking room. Oh, dude, yeah. What, uh, what NFL athlete should go after her? What would be a good Well, Antonio player? Brown is right now. Yeah. I mean, you see that? I don't, I don't think he's think doing a great job. He is and he is, and he's got no game. <laughs> he's got no game. <laughs> he tweets memes and is like, that'll get her pussy wet. Yeah. He just shows her a photo of his dick in that pool. Yeah. Yeah. Or, yeah. What do you think? yeah, that would be crazy if she started dating another NFL player. Like, imagine if Aaron Rodgers started dating. I was like, fuck. The funny Tom. part is, I could see that happening. I think no, she, she strikes me as a good woman. She's, you know, yeah, she's sure. so like, dude. I think That's what's hilarious the, what's even is, worse. is she's so know. just like, Tom. I just want you to hang out with the kids. I'd want to <laughs> see you on Sundays. And yeah. he's like. Baby, you're insane. The NFL calls me for yeah. season 23 and is ruining his marriage. But also, I kind of get, I mean, that it's lit, obviously his life, but it's like, yeah, the, Tom Brady is, isn't Tom Brady without that obsession with being the best. Because he, he probably is the greatest athlete ever. But isn't that kind of sad now? Like, he's making it sad. It went from being like, that's cool. Because MJ had his, like, it's cool, but he's a dick. Tom Brady's having it, it's cool, but, but it's, it's sad. sad. Well, because MJ he, doesn't, he, he I'm, I, he doesn't even like fuck with his kids. You know, I mean, it's the same thing. To, I think in yeah. order to be the best, you have to sacrifice your family. It's the only way for it to work. Yeah. That's see. That's OJ why. Tried. That's why. Yeah. That's <laughs> OJ. OJ did it because he wanted to. He wanted to improve his Hall of Fame status. No, honestly, I think maybe hot take. I think that in of itself proves that LeBron is better than Jordan because LeBron can do it all while being. A family man. A family man. Yeah, that should count as three championships right Hon there. Honest to God. <laughs> Honest to God. Wow, I mean, how wholesome this episode is. <laughs> it is. Yeah. Wow. We, yeah, yeah, I know. yeah, I don't know. I'm wow, having a bad boys. day. I, I was oh. driving here, and I was like, man, I, I was like, man, I, I wish I could just have a hug. You know? And, I, and I'm just, <laughs> like, like, thinking about, like, these athletes, and I'm like, you know, the love they have for their families. So like, I like the change of heart that we've got on this so far. Yeah. This, this is, is real good, life. Dude. Yeah. Do you think LeBron's ever, like, cheated? Yes. Yeah. Because, yeah. so, like, I think, you know, people have always said that he does. But honest to God, like, yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if he did. But honest to God, I don't think he did. I think he loves his wife, man. Based on what? Maybe. Maybe I just <laughs> want him. Maybe I just, <laughs> maybe maybe I just want to believe in love. I don't know. I bet he has so Are many okay, NDAs that these, women, yeah. that these women sign. I guarantee you that LeBron's doing some stuff. And it's just kind nah, of part right. of being, like the best player in the world yeah like, right. I think i'll tell you like, what though he gets like five slip ups a year yeah, yeah. like or six <laughs> maybe like and even once every two he months he gets one added for every championship that he wins nice. right so yeah smart. yeah that's why he wants number four so bad is he's like i need one <laughs> yeah. for each season i need a girl for each season i'll get, tell you what though i mean if he does cheat first off i bet he goes to town second like he definitely like fucks like he did in that video when he was bald you know what i'm saying <laughs> yeah, 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 when he was yeah. like 
<laughs> yeah. like rubbing his head. Hit the rolly stole with the rolly on. The, the, the powder at the end. Yeah, yeah. that's a, no, yeah, that's how he comes. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably he gets like the hottest girl, and she probably gets treated like royalty. PJ there, room service out the yeah. ass, like like the top. What's it called when you're at the top of penthouse. the hotel? The penthouse, yeah. yeah, up there. I don't know. I just don't think there's there's no love after a Billy. You know what I mean? Like there's just not. Yeah, you think he just bangs hookers and motel sixes? No, not Everywhere hookers and motel sixes, but I'm just saying, like, it's not a thing anymore, you know? What's I don't, not a thing? You're I, using I, like, he's just ambiguity. he's just like banging chicks, and it's like not a thing to him anymore. That's I'm why sure. that's why yeah, I don't think he does, because honestly, God, I, like, I think at a certain point, like, once you get that successful and have... That's why you, all those, like, famous people always wind up doing weird shit, that kid shit, because yeah. they're like, I can get any pussy in the world. Right. You know what I can't get? A kid. And you're like, oh, you fucking exactly, gross. Yeah. You're gross. So maybe LeBron's a pedophile, but yeah. it's possible. I mean, Tom Brady kisses his kids on the mouth a lot. So I see, I that's mean, good. That might be what it, that maybe, might be yeah, why. maybe he's uh, maybe Tom the Brady only reason he, Bob Kraft on the mouth. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So. maybe Tom Brady's le left his family because he was like, you know what? I don't want people to keep thinking. You know, they're like, oh, I'm a little too touchy with he my kids. He broke up with his kids. Yeah, he broke up. With <laughs> he he's was like, like honey, I love you, but honey. It's kids. not you. It's me. Yeah. <laughs> so apparently, LeBron has had like several allegations against him. But yeah, a model. Uh, like a very yeah, a hot 24 one. Twenty-four year old model. Her name is Sophia or something like that. She looks. I think yeah, she's yeah, like yeah, kind yeah. of Asian. Yeah, yeah. I remember well, this from a few years ago. She, I think, she posted like she said something that she like slapped with him. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and then, but then she also broke her si silence a while after saying, "I was never with LeBron, nor do I know he is, knew who he is." And then, this is like a paraphrase oh, quote, but the end part of the quote true. says, "I'm not white." I don't know why that's included. I told you. Included, but <laughs> told you she's not white. But yeah, you were right, dude. You yeah. were saying before this that she is hot. That's is the one I'm thinking yeah. of? Yeah, it was. Yeah. A, it, you were looker. right with the name. Yeah. What does LeBron's wife look like? Savannah? She's, she's, a very, she's pretty. Yeah, she's yeah, pretty. She's I'm pretty sure, really pretty, pretty sure she's got some, some when chest cannons on. Too? That's a big question. They're high school sweethearts. That's, what that's I'm the say. thing, too. That's like, why I'm saying I don't think he cheats. I think, yeah, I think it's just something like when you meet someone that early on, like, you just kind of have a pact where yeah. it's it would almost seem like ridiculous to yeah. cheat. Like I, I, he, I get, he's been with her since before he was like since he was like sixteen or something. You know what I mean? Yeah. I mean that's around when he started. I mean he was the chosen one for right. Obama, though, you know? Yeah, that's, I wonder yeah, I if they started right. dating yeah, before. McDonald's All American. Yeah, because like, yeah. Was... yeah, he when he was sixteen is when he started blowing up. So maybe they started dating when he, he was like fifteen or something. That'd be cool. I, I, maybe I don't know before before the fame. Before the yeah, fame. I mean he's kind of she's the only one that he can really trust on the planet, I guess. Yeah. yeah, that's the thing too is is like it would just be. I mean, imagine being like a like someone at that level and being single. Like you just nothing would feel genuine. That's what you'd I'm get, saying. You'd get fucked over so many times, yeah. like people just using you for your money that you would probably you would become super paranoid. Yeah. I think it's just it's exactly like, how I feel. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> These women are using me for my money. For your seventeen dollars an hour. I make nineteen fifty. My bad, my nice. bad, my Plus bad. tips. No, that's what's up. And All a right. real soft cock. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Their yeah. mattress is harder than your dick. How yeah, they get mean? disappointed. <laughs> Actually, it's not. I have a nice topper on it. It's soft. Oh wow! Okay. Soft. Oh yeah. Maybe yeah. if you got, maybe if you took the topper off, you would stay hard. Like you got to be your surroundings. Nah, because nah. it happens at their house too. You know. Okay, that's fair. You guys want to bring it back to basketball? Yeah, Just yeah. For a second. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, there were some big things that happened. The uh, so Steve Nash gone. From Got Brooklyn fired. Nets. Apparently, it was mutual. Yeah, that sure makes sense. That's no. how they always say. Yeah, it. Sure, I mean, it was. But yeah. it makes sense. I mean, he was a dog shit coach, you know. Yeah, but I don't think that, yeah. that he, like, they were just, like, at Applebee's and were like, hey, man, you know what? This isn't working out. This isn't out. working and out. Like, and he's like, right. I was thinking the same thing. We're better off with other people. I'm glad we had this. Well, no, honestly, though. I kind of feel like it was mutual because, like, he didn't seem like he wanted to do it either. It was just weird from the beginning when he got. It was literally just like one day they're like Steve Nash is coaching the it Nets, and you're so like, random. what the? It fuck? was the, it was like, the wrong team. He needs young guys that are all like impressionable. Right. Yeah. Not fucking. How's he Kevin gonna tell KD what Irving. to do? Yeah. You know what I mean, he and Kyrie. Yeah. Yeah, because it's be like, great. dude, he's only like, like he's only he's not that much older than Kevin Durant. Like it's hard to like. They played against each other at some point. Like, and that's the thing. Yeah. I'm not even the big basketball guy on the pod, but I remember being like. What the fuck? Steve Nash is a coach now? Like, it yeah. was so random. I mean, it could, the, the only upside is they were like, oh, he's one of the greatest offensive players. You know what I mean? He he, two-time MVP. He had coached on the, on the 
Golden Warriors, State Warriors think, too. So right? that's yeah. why they were like, oh, KD already likes him there, but he wasn't his fucking head coach. He yeah. was just a guy that, you know, shot around with him. Because, yeah, that, well, that's what was ironic about it is you're thinking, oh, maybe he's going to have some, like, revolutionary offense. You know, like the, the, you know, the, the guy that yeah. ran the seven seconds or less Suns and all that, right. one of the greatest yeah. point guards. And then he came in and was like, I don't know, fucking do your shit, guys. Right. Just do whatever you want. Yeah. I don't know. Have fun out there. And you're like, all right. And yeah. now they got that cheating bastard, Ime Udoka. So my yeah. question is, <laughs> I thought crazy. he was suspended for the whole season. The Celtics suspended him. Oh, so he can coach, but if they go play in Boston, he has to, like, coach from, like, Zoom <laughs> or some shit? No, no. So, like, <laughs> he's not allowed in the building? Well, like, I, I, what I imagine <laughs> happened is, like, they suspended him. So, like, I don't know if it's if he's just going to coach the Nets for the year. But they probably just let him go from the contract. They're probably just like, okay. Yeah. Yeah, it was an internal affairs, it right? Because it's not yeah, the league NBA, didn't suspend so. him, so he can just yeah. go okay. coach somewhere else. So yeah, that makes sense. It's I mean, not explicitly illegal in the contract to, of an NBA coach yeah. that you can't fuck people in the building, but the Celtics weren't too happy about it. So yeah. Yeah. you know, I guess it's kind of a win-win for him though, because he was like just went to the fucking finals. Did he doesn't fantastic. have to take care of the kid now. He's gone. Dude. <laughs> exactly, <laughs> He's out dude. this bitch. That's yeah. a far train. You know what's crazy? Exactly. I'm pretty sure Neil Long stayed with him. I don't think they split up either. That's so, cool. That's cool for him. Oh, yeah, they're still it's together. Great for him. Yeah, I think so. That dick game on. For yeah, him. I'm, dude. Yeah, for real. Good for him, dude. That's yeah, it's it's a four hour drive from Boston to Brooklyn. He's out the situation, dude. He doesn't have to worry about the kid. Nothing. He's that's old news. Cross he's, state lines. He's a wild guy. What a cool dude. It's that's funny too, awesome. Because he didn't seem to me at all like that kind of person. Like every you know press conference, post pre, it was like he's just such a straight. Look, just a narrow guy. That's, and what, like, that's what shows how, how hard it is <laughs> for LeBron. You know, think about it. That's why LeBron's the best. You know. Yeah. He's had this temptation since he was 16. Udoka was a coach for what one fucking year. Yeah. And was like, oh <laughs> shit. Dude, this is the redemption story that Tiger Woods is sitting there like, what the fuck, dude? What the fuck? Yeah. He got blackballed for cheating. This guy got, like, a better job. <laughs> dude, that actually was so crazy that Tiger Woods, like, the world hated him. Like, I remember when I was, like, a little kid, I was like, Tiger's a scumbag. Like, yeah. like why? Like the me I guess because they built him up as this, like, wholesome, and it's because he plays golf. Yeah. They're like, this is, golf is... This is a gentleman's sport. Yeah, how dare yeah. thee? You know, and it's the like the sport where all married men go and talk about yeah. the fucking hot golf cart chicks. <laughs> that's hey, a, that's honey, a gentleman's game. A yeah. <laughs> I I was disappointed in him because of the caliber of women he was sleeping with versus his wife, who was like a twenty out of ten. Well, see, that's what I'm he saying. It's because it's yeah. because yeah, he wants like the normal shit. I mean, that's what he said. He's too successful. He can get any woman it's he the, wants. He's like he's like I want to I want to you know? fuck the waitress. That's yeah. why he would fuck like waitresses and like golf cart girls and stuff right. like that. It's the power. It's that he could walk in and then be like, oh, I'm having the fucking Chili's two for twenty five, and I'm taking this bitch home with me. Yeah, like his tip <laughs> is to ensure proper sex, not yeah. service. That is interesting. So yeah, so he's the you know. Debatably, a lot of people consider him the best golfer. Mm -hmm. Bad family man. Yeah, his family Jordan. was also pretty fucked up too. Yeah, he had a yeah. fucked up upbringing, but yeah. but bad family man. True. Jordan, bad family man. Mm -hmm. Now Brady, bad family man. You know what? That's what you know. But you know, that's why I've always said I was like Brady is like Michael Jordan, and Peyton is LeBron. Yeah. Yeah, because like yeah. Peyton, you know, he loves his wife. Oh, also, wife? Peyton couldn't cheat. So, <laughs> I don't think he could. He's like, actually the most ugly. Be like, honey, honey, the pa paparazzi said they have pictures of you with a waitress, and he's like, well, it "Wasn't me." And they're like, "No one else has that forehead." Yeah, like that was you. That <laughs> yeah, was absolutely you. Well, it's, think about it too. His wife loved him so much that she was getting like illegal pain meds sent in her name to the house, like committing like perjury oh, yeah. and lies like under court. I remember so that, that. he could play more nice. football. Like that's nice. how you know he was a good man, and that might also mean Tom Brady's a piece of shit because if you have rider dies like that like he probably was you know the more i watch tom brady i don't think he's a great guy and i could see him just screaming at his kids for like talking while he's watching his little fucking yeah you know daddy has thing. to watch film and drink his protein shake so yeah. shut the fuck up and it's like during <laughs> dinner though so yeah. you're like dad i made this art thing in school then he's like this is a 3-4 yeah. defense shut the fuck up <laughs> like okay i'll tell you what though i i hope now that he's single i hope he like i hope he starts being cool like i would like to see videos of tom like at a strip club but he's wearing would... like a leather jacket he's got a motorcycle helmet yeah doesn't yeah, have yeah, a motorcycle what's up, what's up? i don't Tuts? think he has it in him 
I, yeah. uh, but maybe he does now. I think he's going to start drinking a lot. I think he's the guy you won your group that you want to get fucked up. Yeah, I think that's yeah. Tom Brady. Well, because dude, when, when they won that Super Bowl, that was oh. all, that was awesome. It really humanized him. I was yeah. like, oh, Tom Brady's drunk. I was right. like, I didn't even know that was possible. Like, yeah, I it think was though, weird. Like, if you look, like, what's that thing where they're always talking about how people act normal when they're not? Like, even right. it's like TikTok. Some of them are dope, like the editing, but there's also like a weird level of like. Why are you trying to be so normal, yeah. Tom Brady? Like, even like, he's probably a bad family guy, and he also kisses his kids on the mouth. Maybe it's a little bit of an overreach. Hey, don't you knock know, it like a correction. He de- correct. Yeah, he probably does do the whole thing, like, where he's he's very calm, cool, collected, and then there's just, like, one, you know. I, no, he does. Kid asks Patrick one more Bateman time, shit. and he just goes, hey, you know I could fucking kill you with my bare hands, right? Yeah. <laughs> like, oh. Yeah, who is, who is Tom when the cameras aren't around, you know? They who do like a, who like, is he when he's the only one? You know, do you think? Do you think Tom Brady has self esteem issues? Like, oh, do you yeah. think he? Do you think he hates himself deep down? Oh yeah, mm-hmm. he has to. He has to either love himself to the ends of the earth or hate himself to the ends of the earth. Maybe he just needs a hug. So I've been doing some side. <laughs> Sounds like you need a hug. <laughs> yeah, this is a sad episode. <laughs> I think we had too much aggression on the last one. I was like yeah, listening back. I was like, right. I, I don't, I was more mad than I thought about you spoiling Oh, you were I very, I mad. Mad. very mad. I have such a good plan to ruin things for you later on down the line, but well, I'm not going to. I, I don't, was talking about nothing. Like, nothing brings me joy anymore, so I was debating luck. driving to your house and fighting you. <laughs> I was so mad. I seriously was like, what if I just went and fucked them up, taught them a lesson, and Dale was like, what are you saying, dude? <laughs> like, it's, lo- it's Love Highland. <laughs> Dude, but, yeah, but seriously, fun. like, all right. So I, I was thinking more about the whole thing of of goats being bad. Like Babe Ruth is arguably one of the goats of baseball, and I was looking at his personal life. Ter- they said he had terrible parents, not a great parent life. Like grew up in a rough neighborhood. He had a wife. She died, and three months after her death, he married just some actress, who an actress and model named Clarie Hodgins, and they and he adopted her daughter. So maybe okay. it was the second and it was a second and final marriage. So he did stay married. Um, but was it a Woody Allen situation? Yeah. So well, like what it's saying here is it says <laughs> yeah. although Babe Ruth was married though most of his baseball career when team owner uh, through most of his career team co owner was often have to ask him to calm his lifestyle down drinking oh, partying yeah. women dude that see baseball was america's pastime when they let the players get fucked up that they need to bring that back like mickey mantle and like like those like yankees We're and shit dick suck during the dude game? they would they would literally smoke cigars and drink whiskey in the dugout like they yeah. need to bring that back like i want to see mike trout next season bump a fucking do a little key bump before he goes out like off his bat and then go out there it's like it's that's America's how you bring past base. time because it's like these are guys these are regular guys yeah. you know and like now so it's relatable. Not. it's the mlb yeah. I, I i say it all the time they are so fucking stupid for how they run that mm-hmm. organization like if, if if they just let the players show their personality, they could it would it would be back again. But now they're losing yeah. to football. They need know? to take a note from pro wrestling. And yeah. They need heels in the MLB. Oh, they totally. should. So this yeah. this is a hilarious statement that I read further. <laughs> so like, his uh, he signed what they said was a huge three year contract in 1922 for, for fifteen thousand dollars. I was gonna say fifteen hundred dollars. Half a hundred thousand. Half a hundred thousand. He. Okay. They uh it's they hired a a detective to follow him around because his antics were getting so bad, and they said that like they first off they had to implement that he was not allowed to be out after one a.m. because he was staying out to like four a.m. every night, and they said that the one of the nights that the PI followed him, he w- left his his like hotel room that night with six women out of the hotel room. So he's not a great guy either. Pretty good at baseball. Yeah, it's become. Uh, yeah, what about Wayne Gretzky? Did he like kill somebody or something? That's like an he's got a. If if if, if, if he's a bad guy too, too then I'm pretty sure I was actually gonna say Gretzky earlier because he's supposed to be like the nicest guy. In the That's world. what I was gonna say. Okay. I'm pretty he's sure he kid. is a good family. Like I think because his daughter is hot. Maybe it's because he's on <laughs> skates, so he's like doesn't touch the field, so it doesn't. Well, turn I know. Well, also well, with hockey, you can just take it out on the ice. You know. That's true. If you got all that anger locked away, you can just hit somebody. How was Muhammad Ali? Was he a good guy? Uh, he cheated. Cheated? Yeah. The cheated, only thing cheated coming the up... American Armed Services by dodging that one. <laughs> <laughs> you still got a grudge, huh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, God. Serve this country. We should have never been to Vietnam, right? <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, I'm pretty sure he had, like, a few kids out of, like, wedlock. 
Okay. Like, I think his grandson that boxes now, I think, like, you know, like, yeah. his parent was, you know, like a bastard. I, I actually watched a football game where Muhammad Ali was in the stands. Around, like, so uh, my brother was on a, a football team in Reno mm -hmm. that played in the, like, finals for the, the national championship against a Vegas team that had Muhammad Ali's grandson on it. And he was in the stands. And it was it was genuinely sad to see. Oh yeah, because he was like all shaking and shit. Yeah, and he was like That's trying wrong. to be cool with everyone, but you could just tell he was like, <sighs> dude, what do you call it? Have you seen the video of him and Mike Tyson when like when like Mike Tyson's like, watch my feet, champ. Like, watch my feet, champ. And he's like, and, he, and he's like, look, I'm fast, I'm fast. Like you told him, like it was like Mike Tyson turned into like a little kid because yeah. like that was his hero. That's so cool. And he's just like showing him. He's like, I can still shuffle, champ. And Muhammad's just like. Who the fuck are you? Yeah. Like, he's like, I'm not even around. Yeah, that's know? tough. So I looked at, up uh, Gretzky, and the only thing coming up is a controversy with his wife betting on hockey games. Mm. Oh, so his wife's awesome. Cool. Yeah. 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 So Certified he's the exception. So nothing, but nothing with him. He's supposed to be just like, all right. Yeah, he might be the guy. only guy. Yeah. Well, and, and then, well, soccer, fucking Maradona. He was one of the goats. He's a he was a little little rascal. He's, he's a little rascal. Yeah. He was yeah. getting coked up. I mean, he was fucking. You guys ever seen that documentary about Maradona? No, dude. It talks about how like when he played like in Italy, how like his he was like deeply connected with like the mafia, like oh, like literally sick. like the Costa Nostra, like shit like that. Like yeah. they like owned him and shit like that. Like it was like crazy. I'm pretty sure because he he would go out and at like Italian nightclubs and party till like five a.m. and then he like go play in the World Cup. That's Crazy. bollard. I think it, I guess it's kind of 50-50 then about people being shitty people. And well, no, it's everyone but Gretzky. Yeah, I and think Manny. it's mostly shitty I think people. it's mostly. Yeah, I guess majority. Yeah, you know, right. in order for you to be the best, you have to, you know, you got to be a scumbag, you know. Well, you got to be, you you be about your own. Messi's yeah. a good guy, pretty yeah. sure. He's a, he's been dating the same fantastic. girl. Is he? Great guy. You got to find mm -hmm. a balance, though. You can't go too far because then you fall from grace. You know what I mean? Yeah. Kareem Hunt, Ray Rice. Well, the kicker from the Giants. Oh yeah, I remember that oh, guy. Uh, former Husker Chris Brown. Chris there Brown. There you go. Oh, how fitting. Chris <laughs> Brown. <laughs> the Huskers have had <laughs> some nasty motherfuckers on their team. They had Incognito was a Husker. Oh, that guy Brown crazy. was a Husker. Nah, he was uh, right. <laughs> Scott Frost was sleeping with Lauren F Lawrence Phillips' girlfriend, and Lawrence Phillips came in, kicked in the door, and like chased him out of the dorm. Okay. Wow. Uh, Lawrence Phillips dragged his girlfriend by her hair down a flight of stairs and ended up going to prison after trying to run over children on a on a playground wow. with his car. Wow. Okay. I mean, well, let's let's give him the benefit of the doubt. What else is there to do in Nebraska? <laughs> <laughs> Other than, you know. That's crazy. That's... Oh, Kobe. But see, but he was a good family man once he once he got married. He got it yeah. all out of his system. Yeah. yeah. I mean, he had some rough moments. <laughs> yeah. It's yeah, he yeah. just considers which Kobe do you think is better, eight or 24? Right, so eight. eight like to do stuff that could rhyme with eight. Right, yeah. But 24 Allegedly. was less of a whore. It's mm. rhyming, so you don't forget. Yeah, it's Cockney. Yeah, yeah. bring it back. <laughs> <laughs> bring it back. Good call back. Good call back. <laughs> yeah, so maybe your yeah. B legend just. Yeah. Came yeah. Out. Oh my God. Bars, the inner son. rapper just Bars. crazy. I'm trying to think of anyone else, that, uh, like a like you know like an athlete like you know that would. Well, Mike Trout's a pretty good guy. Like if you look at newer right. age baseball, uh, Shohei Otani seems like a pretty good guy. Yeah. Um, I mean, Harper some seems of the new like a, well, Harper is an asshole, but I'm pretty sure he's a good family guy. I mean, he's got a kid and a wife i just agree with you i think like there i think there's just as like a former athlete who didn't even play at the highest level that's you're too nice yeah dude you should have been a piece of shit you should have cheated on your girlfriend of five years I'm and so maybe you would have got maybe right you would have went pro you're yeah. right and i had opportunities too and i realized i fumbled nfl bags wow because it, I think about it if you would have cheated it really does maybe that's what it is maybe that's what makes you better like for example you know like mm -hmm. i took this little fellow to the strip club the other day for the first time he's Congrats. been look look he's been carrying himself different yeah, yeah. you have a good posture you do no i was about Great to say posture. yeah you're sitting like up you, you 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 look very stoic you know appreciate it yeah i feel like i feel like you know i feel like you like scotch now you know yeah. shit like that i like, saw some things that i wasn't too fond of did you go to a strip club in mexico no. <laughs> Can I say something though? Maybe one of the funniest things I've ever seen is Dale comes back because before the strip, I bought him a lap dance. And before the stripper gave him the lap dance, she's like showing him her phone, and we're yeah. like, I, I'll be honest, I thought he talked his way out of it. I thought, I thought you literally went, 
hey, you don't have to give me the dance. And, she, and I thought she was like, that's fine. We can just talk. You know, mm-hmm. I thought that's what was going on. He comes back. I was like, what was she showing you? He goes, oh, her screenplay that she's working <laughs> on. <laughs> yeah. I was I, like, that's baller. Oh that's dope. God. She could tell that I was like not into it. And so I was just like, you know, and, and I was just kind of talking to her. And I mentioned that I was a comic. And then she's like, oh, my God, I have to show you. I have a screenplay that I'm writing. I think that you would I think love you'd be it. perfect for the lead. It's oh, a bet. perfect for the lead? No, no. but wow. she did she did tell me cuz she was like I, you know, I'm in a film festival right now. I'd love for you me for you to go to my The Austin Film Festival's going on. Yeah, wow. wow. The and then she did was you? like did no. you vote for her? I don't even remember what her fucking name was. What the fuck? God, I'm yeah. not gonna lie. She sounds like I would want to marry her. Yeah, she's like, yeah. I'm a screenwriter. I'm also a stripper. Also, <laughs> she was, she from a distance couldn't tell, but right up in front of me, she was like 40, 45. Oh, okay. Damn. Well, yeah. you know, and can't she's, win them all. And my well, mom is like 43. She's so doing it for the love of Hey, Dale, I'm you need, you need, you need the tending lover care of an older woman. That's what you need. I really don't. <laughs> That's what you need. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. You, you, you grow up real quick when you, when you fuck women that are old enough to be your mom. It's, 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 it changes you. It wow. definitely does. It definitely does. I didn't have a beard until as soon as I fucked a 38 year old when I was 21. I grew a beard the next day. I swear wow. to God. I swear to God. <laughs> yeah. oh my it was God. the mature, <laughs> it was the mature God. juices or something. <laughs> Actually, that's not true. I had a beard when I fucked her. But um, speaking of fucking and uh, shit like that, so we have we have a TikTok for the account and like only I have access to it. So I like I realize that the blame falls on me. But I like I opened it today and I was on it and I've never like scrolled our for you page. Bro, our for you page is just only like naked girls dancing. It's the horniest yeah. feed I've ever seen because like See what you do, don't realize is I also have the password <laughs> and, and that's my burner. <laughs> yeah. Dude, cuz I was tripping out cuz it's like as a guy like you're you're going to have those like the, the, just the stupid TikToks where a girls like it's like a baby voice thing or she's wearing baggy clothes into the Dude that shit creeps me I out. Hate There's it. one girl in particular Am I that pops wearing this right now. There's like, a girl no, that pops stop. up on my feed where she like and I don't like it. And what she does is she like literally sits there, she's got like big doe eyes and giant tits, and she like <laughs> t- acts like submissive, like for the people in the comment, like because they like simp over it. And she'll just be like, Am I a good girl? Uh I'm so horny. Oh. Or something like and it's just the creep <laughs> you I seem like you're did. into that. Yeah, 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 like that. like I know I exactly what Yeah, you're but about. then I you closed your it. eyes a little bit. Nah, that was and you straight pictured cringe a, because I, I know what you're talking I hate it, dude, because I'm just She like, pops up my feed like once a month and every time she does, I like close the app and I'm like, ah. What are yeah. you watching on Pornhub? Because I have a theory that it's okay. actually tied to your Pornhub algorithm. Stepmom. Like, so it's sums. not. You see, when I watch you said any three porn sums? at all, yeah. I'll go on Instagram. My, my four-year <laughs> reels video will all just be only fan promos hmm. for like. Interesting. Oh, that's interesting. So you're you're watching threesomes on Pornhub, and it's. Are you seeing any threesomes on TikTok? Or? I'm not, which is okay. unfortunate. So I can threesomes be, I, with two men. No, 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 or babies, two women, because this could be related. That's yeah. true. Say babies? <laughs> yeah. babies. Is this baby play threesomes yeah. that you're watching? Yeah, it, are people in diapers and like you know? No, no, because I, because I, I, yeah, it's 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 the my TikTok's normal. Ooh. Did you see? Did you, so for the talk news, uh, Billie Eilish is 20, I believe now, and she's dating the lead singer or bassist, whatever the fuck, from the neighborhood. Right, I think that's mm-hmm. the band Sweater Weather. Oh, I, mean, yeah, I love that. Yeah. So he's yeah. like forty-four or something. I'm sorry, and what? they're dating now. And as for Halloween, he dressed up as an old man, and she dressed up as a baby. Mm. Gross. Yeah. Gross. I that's think I'd tough. allow Billie Eilish to dress up as a baby, and I would still be. In I think me and Billie Eilish should be a good couple. I'm just waiting to get successful enough so for her to find. Yeah, don't. Yeah, yeah I think. I, really I think she's got Tourette's. <sighs> I, I found that out on TikTok. Yeah, she's got a little. She got a little text. You guys would be a great toxic couple. We would. Yeah, like yeah. we would like break up and they'd be like fine. Break up because I would cheat on her by accident. Be <laughs> by accident. I'm sure. trying to be the best. You'd, You'd be the next grind. Whitney and Bobby for sure. Did Ash oh, yeah. Ketchum cheat? Ash Ketchum? Did he? The, the guy? From Dude, he's Pokemon? ten years old. He's ten. He's ten. I'm uh, sorry. Wait, what? <laughs> Ash is ten. You didn't know he was fucking a kid. He, he was fucking it. Not a he fucking. He was, he was a fucking kid. Well, His if he did, no, he deep, looks, yeah, bro, they make him look I don't like think he ages. I think it's like boy. a South Park thing. Like, I think like every season he's ten years old. Really? He just yeah. sounds like he's twenty-five. 
Yeah. No, he hey, doesn't. Hey, Pikachu! Pikachu I shoes you. Oh my God, dog! Oh, did you guys good. see the Pokemon movie when you were a kid? Yes. When when he turns to stone, oh, I was oh I was losing. Oh it. damn, he is ten years old. Yeah, yeah. that's why it's and that's why Pokemon's insane. A ten year old boy says, "Mom, I'm leaving home oh. to go to go battle." <laughs> Yeah, but and tr of, and travel the unknown dangerous countryside at fucking ten. But this is you know right. like, that's Japanese culture. Though. I just didn't realize this is such a story of a dreamer. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know the you know the Kanto region. You know it's a different culture yeah, over there. Exactly. You know? yeah. different breed. Yeah, he goes to different continents. This kid is insane. He rides islands. animals on water. Yeah. Yeah. Just travels by foot, sometimes maybe a bike. Well, he does. To be fair, I mean, I guess I would I would be fine because I mean he's got Pikachu with him. You know. Yeah, yeah. But Pikachu was a little rascal when he got him. Yeah, but Matt, sent it took Ash, time. Sent Ash catch him to O Block, dude. He's done for. Could he be. doesn't walk out dude, there. Dude, when, <laughs> when 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 I'm not if kidding. He gets his Charizard there or not? Oh, yeah. that's true. dude. He yeah he he was a bitch until he got Charizard. Until until it evolved into a Charizard. <laughs> well, that was Charizard when he started too, being a dope. I'd show O Block. Yeah. Shut the O Block. Yeah, that's Charizard. what Antonio Brown yeah. did. And then a guy but just goes Tyrone, I choose you. I'll tell you what though. What? I'll tell you what though. That. <laughs> what did you say? You said that racially quiet. Yeah, <laughs> I tried to move on. <laughs> oh, that's great. You're a you're a bad person, bad, dude. But oh, strip club got me fucking tweaking. Dog. I'll tell you what, it changes you. Yeah, changes. What are uh, what are some of Tyrone's moves, Dale? What are <laughs> what are some of his attacks? I'd pick your next word very carefully. <laughs> tell you what, I'm done. I'll t I will say this though. I'm not kidding. Use I drill. I do not think I, I, I'm genuinely serious. I think you'd be hard pressed to find a better example of the power of like platonic love and friendship than the Pokemon movie when Pikachu cries mm. and it melts the stone. Mm. They taught Mewtwo what about what love was. Human. Oh yeah, Human. that's like humans Human. are worth it, you know. Yeah. I'm not kidding. Yeah. I don't know if I'm trying to think of an example of a better, like, genuine, like, a oh, love. You know, when they're like the power of love, and it's normally corny, but like that was. You, you ever see the Sonic movie as a kid? kid? The Sonic movie? Yeah, like cartoon. Like they had a uh, like Sonic versus like they have like Metal Sonic, and then he at the end sacrifices himself in the lava because he realizes like the human lives are more important than his, and he's just like. Well, yeah, hedgehogs really live like six years. So. <laughs> you ever heard of a little story called the Bible? The um, dude, the um, dude, stop being an old boomer, dude. Um, Give it the time. Oh We're talking um, Pokemon and Sonic, old man. Get honest, your Pokemon, shit out of here. Pokemon the movie, Passion of the Christ, Pokemon the movie. Okay? Yeah, I, I don't think. Yeah, yeah his, the Bible his, is pretty mid. The Bible, yeah, a little, <laughs> yeah, a little long, little long. <laughs> A lot of a lot of chapters about you know, yeah, cut yeah. the whole Old Testament out, you know. Yeah. Get rid of it. I'll tell you what though. Oh, what was it? Was something about Pokemon? oh Sonic? No, I did, however, play Sonic Adventure Two Battle as a kid a lot. Mm -hmm. Revolutionary game. Oh, I'm a big so Shadow fun. guy myself. I mean, I Shadow is sick. Dude. Yeah, you play the uh, racing one where you can people get all the people characters. often say yeah that one's dope. People often say I'm I'm you know they're like oh you remind me so much of Shadow. From Sonic, you know what I mean. Yeah, I I'm like, the shadow of this group for sure. I feel like I'd be Tails. Yeah. yeah. Nah, Dale's Tails. No, I'm Knuckles, bro. Oh, you're not Knuckles. You're not Knuckles. I Knuckles. might be Knuckles. I, am I Sonic? No, Knuckles is black. Yeah. Okay, you're right. I'm not Idris Elba. Yeah. Also, I, that was funny because when they cast Idris Elba to play Knuckles, people were like, "Knuckles is black," and they're like, "Knuckles has always been black." Like, I don't know yeah. about you. I always was like, "Yeah, Knuckles is black." A little weird. They call the black character Knuckles. Mm. Well, he, yeah. well, it's weird because he's like an Aztec. Like he comes from like an Aztec civilization or something. But yeah, it's weird. But he's black, so slavery was before. I actually think his people were enslaved. That's what's weird. That's There's a lot of lore in Sonic. Yeah, but I'm di I'm easily Shadow. Yeah, I get yeah. that. Yeah, I, I was made that. on a fucking lab. <laughs> But I'm a lover. You That's know? your doctor, Eggman. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and, uh, I have been told that if someone was to play me in a movie, it would probably be Jim Carrey. So. <laughs> Jim Carrey loves that. He'd role. have to bulk up to play you, dude. You're, you're, yeah. you're. A, He'd have not, to grow about not a scrawny, half a so. foot as well. Yeah, Do you, dude. You know what? Never won a fucking Academy Award. The Passion of the Christ. Yeah, I, know. I don't know if Pokemon or Sonic did. It was but... just one of the highest-grossing films of all time. Yeah. Do you know who made it? That's true. Do you know who? Do, do, oh, don't yeah. look at it. Don't look at it. Do you know who made the Passion of the Christ? Um, was it Kevin Feige? No. First off, <laughs> it Feige. was the only. It was it, the only Hollywood star with his own Catholic church in his on his in his backyard. I'll this this guy was Tom the original Hanks. Kanye West. Yeah. Bingo. 
Tom Cruise. <laughs> no, no. Hey, no, 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 no. What, what, is, what race is he? Give You're me close. His race. He's Australian. Russell Brand. No, but he doesn't have an accent. Russell Brand is also English, not. Yeah, um, he's also not Australian. No, this guy, no, he's a, he's a white people. man. I told you, what is what is all right. Figure it out. What is Kanye famous for Mel right Gibson. now? There yes. Yes. Yeah, yes. Yeah. There yeah. we go. Yeah. You yeah. said Kanye. I was like, Mel Gibson. Yeah. 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 That's what I said. That you were like, yeah. There you go. Have you have you seen like the footage or heard of Mel Gibson's arrest video? The one where he's saying the crazy shit about Jewish people. Dude. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, he went off. Like he went Def Can, he, he went Def Con one why on was he Jewish so people. Mad in the arrest because I've only heard like I've only seen like the. He's anti-Semitic. Like, well, what was he getting arrested by Officer Weinberg? Like why was he? <laughs> I think it was something like that. <laughs> I think. It was a Jew name. Actually. Yeah, I think it was. He was being arrested because they have the name he tag. Up the and he, officer, yeah. Dude, have yeah. you guys have you guys uh, heard or seen the footage of Reese Witherspoon's arrest? Oh, that's the best. Reese. Yeah. No. I saw a TikTok the other do? day talking. They were like, "Isn't it insane that everyone just forgot about this?" She got a DUI once, no. and she pulled the whole like, "Do you fucking know who I am?" Like it was in, like where you're like, "Oh, she." Whoa. You think she's the nicest person, really? but she gave this officer shit for it. It was crazy. That's yeah. pretty cool. Yeah, Mel Gibson's is still worse. Yeah, Mel Gibson his also crazy. had the like phone call, the voicemail that mm-hmm. went along with it afterwards. That was like, "Man, you're just this isn't was this, this did, wasn't a flu." He had a catchphrase in it. Hey, here like, I have the. Oh, is this the Reese Witherspoon? Can you hear it? Can you hear it? Okay. Yeah. Hold on. She has a nice line at some point. What the hell was that short ass TMZ video? I hate TMZ. They can suck my dick. All right. Well, whatever. We can just. Okay. We, now we don't have to send anything. Yeah, you can't play the Mel Gibson one. Well, we probably should not. It they might well, they ble- it might well, they bleep. Well, they bleep. Well, they bleep most of it, but. Yeah, well, people should go look that up one. It's a fun Easter egg. Put on your That's, put on your Bluetooth speaker and play it out loud for your That roommates. is wild because like I mean that obviously ruined his career. I mean he still makes movies, but like he's not in anything anymore. I this do. is what's going to happen. I do find it ironic that he is such an anti-Semite, and then he made a movie about how he just basically tortured a Jew for like three and a half hours. But they blame it on the Jews. Right. So, like, it, he was just like, oh. nice. <laughs> nice. I so see. Okay. That's Jesus yeah. was Good considered the king of the Jews, so none yeah. of it really makes sense. Yeah. yeah. Right. That's why I said the Bible mid. <laughs> yeah, no, I agree. A lot of plot holes going on, dude. Yo, I'm, I'm trying to find this the officer me, M-E-E. That doesn't sound like a Jewish no, last name to me. Huh. He was just having a rough day. He that 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 is wow. wild because he was shit faced. I think it was like sounded like he was getting arrested for something like that. But just to be like, you know, you know who's to blame for this? <laughs> yeah, it is pretty wild to say shit like that. And it's funny because I think he doubled down later and he's like, "Have you noticed ever since that happened, I, they didn't put me in any more movies? Coincidence?" And it's like, "Well, yeah, <laughs> well, yeah, Mel, <laughs> yeah, I think I think you bl- I gotta blame yourself on this one, you know? Him and him and Kanye should team up." Do that would know. be a fun buddy cop movie. Brave just them too? just going around, just oh. being anti-Semitic <laughs> as shit, just driving around. Yeah, they're gonna do lethal weapon, and then make that Kanye will replace uh, Glover, Danny Glover. Yeah, that would be great. That would be a good I like one. A brave heart. Yeah. They can do it on Ben Shapiro's network with Gina Carano. She oh, can be in wow. it. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. What is that called? The Daily Wire, dude. Yeah, yeah. So they I'm should like, just superimpose, like, cut in. The Danny cut, Glover. no, the cut scene of Trump from Home Alone. Just put yeah. him in that movie, like yeah. a random, yeah. like somehow have him go into like a like a random hotel, and he's like, "I think you dropped this or whatever wow. the fuck his yeah. line is." All right, who's your all-time canceled starting five? No, <laughs> no. <laughs> All right, we need we we don't talk about we really only talk about football on here. Your team is in the World Series. Yeah, bro, that's, that's fine. We, I feel like we should talk about that. The rain delay happened. Game three starting off as we record this. Or game, yeah, yeah, game, yeah, game three. three. We stole dude, one on the road. Game one was amazing. That was. Did you dude, watch was, it? Yeah, that was insane. I think so. I was working and I came home when we were down five. Still, I think I got home. Yeah. Well, no. So I think it was the fourth inning. We scored two or three runs, and I think we tied it in like the sixth. And well, the, I, I think I got home in like the fifth inning. The important thing for people to know is Justin Verlander is arguably one of the best pitchers in the last like in this generation. Yeah, yeah. And he's. 0 oh, and seven in the World Series with a five, five ERA. ERA. Yeah. Well, and what's crazy is because Nola is our ace, and he played like dog shit too. He yeah. gave up five runs. We were down five runs. Dude, I literally I was watching it at East Austin. I had it set up because I was the door guy. I went in to do my set, hung out for a second, set it back up, and I was like, "What the fuck? Yeah. It's tied. How did this happen?" Yeah. Felt yeah. felt kind of bad for him, but sick comeback, and obviously Dude. fuck Houston. And uh, and fucking Real Muto hit a fucking dinger out there to like I think it was top of the tenth. 
to give us a lead. Yeah. And then, and at the end, bottom of the ninth, fucking who but Nick Castellanos with like an amazing defensive play when he's got like the worst glove in baseball. Yeah. That's why it's fun. That's why I'm like, I don't know how, I, I assume the whole country is rooting for the Phillies because yeah, a lot of people much. hate the Astros for the cheating thing. One, two, how can you not root for the underdog? You know what I mean? And they're just playing hot. Like, it's like everything's make, coming together. You know what I, I mean? I think there still is, unfortunately, like, Philly is one of the most hated, like, people sports do hate city. Yeah. So there's still probably some people who are, like, Texans or people, like, like people are like, well, I'm going to root for the AL. Fuck the NL. Like, shit like that, yeah. probably. But a majority, yeah, are rooting for I'm hoping we're going to be... I forgot to mention this at the top, but we're going to be at the game Thursday mm-hmm. for the Eagles. Well, I was going okay, to say, we're at the so Eagles game. Hopefully we get to catch... Yeah, them winning it on Friday. If there's any, you know, if there's any listeners out there that would, would like to donate seven hundred or so dollars, so I can go to the World Series, that would be tight. Yeah, um, that's what really sucks is because I'm like I want to go, but I'm like I I can't justify that money. But also I'm like how often I'm like when else am I gonna get to see my team in the World Series? It's like you know potentially I mean? it's like, once in a lifetime, but yeah. it's just you're like you'll like ruin your life for the next like two months because that's right. like, dude that's a lot of money and it's like i'm sure you probably have that put away or you could put it on a credit card no i have uh, my credit cards are maxed out <laughs> okay then i'm gonna be as your friend i would advise you let's watch it at a bar near the stadium well see that's why i need i told my plan i'm gonna win the mega millions tonight little Hell yeah. drawings at 10 Right. So I'm going to win the Mega Millions, and I'm going to go to the World Series. That would be sick if just not another episode of this ever comes out again because you win the Mega Millions, and if you I want... shoot us a few bucks, and we just retire off into the sunset. I know. I told I told you before. We, if I win, I'm not telling anybody but my mom. You're not going to shoot us a few bucks? I mean, no. I'll do it. Like You guys will oh, start like wondering. Ant, like, like some uh, Green Mile shit. Like I got to dig up a box under like a rock by a tree, and there's like 100000 waiting for me in like, a note. You're That's like, not the Green Mile. I, it's not where you accept. What do you think the Green Mile is? You're thinking of Shawshank Redemption. Ah, shit, dude. What do, you th- what do you think the Green Mile is? <laughs> the Shawshank. That's exactly Green right. Mile is John Coffey. The Green Mile is Death Row. It's say, but they're both prison movies, right? Well, yeah, he's in prison. Yeah, I mean, yeah okay, you're acting like I'm getting Sandlock. Michael Clark Duncan. Angels in the outfield. Get over the it. The magic you know? guy? Michael Clark Duncan. Yeah, he's an angel. Yeah. I ha- here's the thing. I haven't seen either of the movies, so I'm just... Well, like, all right, I've you're missing out. Family Guy remake, though. There's a, there's a scene <laughs> where Michael Clark Duncan, he plays like a very like simple... He's an angel. Um, it, also, both Stephen King books. Wait, which movie uh, are we talking about? Green Mile. Okay. So he has the he has magic powers, and he's wrongfully uh, he's accused of like raping and murdering like a little girl. And who's the one with the big black guy who likes the mouse? This this oh, is Green I Mile. I have seen the Green yeah. Mile. Yeah, Mr. Bojangles I maybe I or something. I've seen Shawshank Redemption. Then that's Morgan Freeman. Oh, I haven't seen that yeah. movie. He plays a character named Red, who's Irish. That's the thing with the Rock, though, right? Because I've only seen that in Family Guy, where he digs out the like. There's a box at the end, and he reads a note from him. Is that mm-hmm. is that mm-hmm. Shawshank? Yeah, he escapes. He okay, digs a tunnel. Okay, so I, all my movie knowledge is mostly based off Family Guy remake. Okay, I so I just here's here's I'm so confused. You gotta right see now. Green Mile because there's a scene where uh, Tom Hanks has syphilis. Tom Hanks is in Green Mile. Tom Hanks is the main character. <clears throat> oh, He's wow. the prison guard who realizes that John Coffey's a good guy. He also doesn't have syphilis. He has a UTI. Same thing. He but has a UTI. It, t- John Coffey, I told you, has magic powers. He grabs Tom Hanks's cock mm-hmm. and sucks the poison out. And oh. then when he does, when he he can heal people, and when he does it, it exhales with like locusts fly out of his mouth. So he kind of, kind of gave Tom Hanks head if you think about it. No, he definitely one hundred percent. Yeah, yeah. What is this weird movie? See, like I've think it's I've, an it's a very emotional movie. I don't think I want to see either of these movies now. There's I a, feel like there's I got a the scene I'm not going to spo- I'm not going to spoil anything on, but there's a one scene where he doesn't. He's like, please, I'm scared of the dark, and now it's like, oh, dude. It's crazy because he yeah. is. He's like he's like a he has like they the mind of a little. the sponges at the end. Okay, yeah, yeah. Okay, so you did see it. Yeah, yeah so I'm saying, but I also don't remember Tom Hanks being. I think I have CT. I think we just figured that out right now. In the do pod. you do you know who Tom Hanks is? Maybe that maybe that's yeah, Forrest Gump. Okay, all okay. right. Do you remember the scene where he's like sprinting in the middle of the night across the yard and he can't make it, so he just has this dramatic scene where he like almost pisses his pants and just. No, pisses. I remember him crying about the mouse, and he has a mouse. And the I Tom Hanks. <laughs> I don't know. I don't remember Tom Hanks being in this movie. That's what I'm He's saying. He's the main character in the no, movie. No, this is what I'm saying. So, like, I don't know, understand where, like, this means I've had to have seen only, like, certain parts of this movie. Maybe you did just only see it in Family Guy. <laughs> Family Guy, that yeah. might be. But I can picture the black dude. And I want to guess what other movies he's been in, but I'm worried he that was, he's not. He was the Michael Clark Duncan. He plays uh, the manager or, like, the friend in uh, Talladega Nights. 
He's like, don't you put that evil on me, right, Ricky right, Bobby. That was not my guess, but I'm... But I'm yeah, same guy. <laughs> is he in any other really uh, well, he, he played just... He played the kingpin in the Ben Affleck Daredevil. Mm-hmm. Okay, again, still not my guess, which means I might be just Can racist. I guess what you were guessing? Yeah. <laughs> Tom, you're going to guess it, aren't you? <laughs> is it the longest year? No! <laughs> yes! <laughs> That's Bob Sapp, dude. Fuck, dude. It's yeah, not... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah damn yeah, it. No. <laughs> Why'd you explain it? How'd you know I was thinking that, dude? <laughs> so funny, yeah. But <laughs> I knew you were thinking... I was thinking... Yeah. <laughs> Do you think all black people look alike? Is that what, no, is that just, what we just no. found out, too? <laughs> just the big ones. <laughs> just the big, bald ones, huh? That's See, but crazy. I was aware enough to uh, at least fuck. realize that, I, that, that they weren't the same person, but my yeah. initial thoughts. Fun fact about, about Michael Clark Duncan. Um, he, I think it was Michael Clark Duncan, was actually uh, Biggie Smalls' bodyguard. And he had called off the day Biggie got shot. And he like blames himself. And who is this? Oh. Which guy is Michael Clark Duncan? I'm pretty sure. Can you can you guy. can you double check that? I'm almost positive because I did a report. <laughs> oh, I did a report uh, one time in like seventh grade, and I just like picked cool actors. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, isn't Green that crazy? Guy is really the Talladega Nights nice guy. Yeah, that's cool. He, he died like t- in, like 2008 or something. Yeah, like that. yeah, yeah. But yeah, he was, yeah, he was supposed to be there the day he got shot, but like he was sick or something. And I think that's what inspired him to like start acting. He's like, life is too short, man. I'm not gonna, I'm gonna chase my dreams. Wow, he switched cool. gigs with a friend that day to guard Babyface instead of, instead of Biggie Smalls. Wow, well, should have been Babyface. What about the guy? Was the bodyguard? Did he die too, or no? I'm not sure. It just says that that this is a TMZ article. It says mm. that he switched roles with his friend, who was they were both bodyguards, and they yeah, switched yeah. to where he looked after Biggie, and then. Michael Clark Duncan was babyface on that exact day that it happened. Wow. Damn. So Michael Clark Duncan probably was behind the assassination. Of that is, I thought you were. I thought you were gonna <laughs> guess that. I thought you were gonna like. Did Michael Clark Duncan orchestrate the murder of the notorious? P. I'm gonna I. be Chief? honest. I have no idea what's going on right now. Do whatsoever. you know who Biggie Smalls is? Yeah, I do know. Okay. That. I mean, he. But thought, I'm still confused for also, everything before. Also, my brain's tired. Let's tie it all together. Another situation kind of similar. Seth MacFarlane, Family Guy. He was supposed to be on the plane that hit the North Tower. Really? Him and Mark Wahlberg were supposed to be in 9-11, but they both, like, Mark Wahlberg blacked out the night before and was too hungover and missed his flight. And I think Seth MacFarlane did, too. I think he was so drunk he missed his flight. Well, they were supposed to be, alcohol. yeah. And an, there's another shout world out. out there. There's another world out there where there is no family guy. Or there's only, like, and two seasons of it. And I wouldn't know about Green it. Mile. And you would have no or idea about Shawshank. Green Mile. And there, you would have never seen uh, Patriot's Day. What's that? <laughs> it's a Mark Wahlberg movie. <laughs> I haven't seen that either. It's right about now. the Boston bombing. Sounds right? terrible. It's about him tracking them down. Yep. Yeah. The Unabomber? Peter Berg directed it. No, the Boston bombing. The brothers, remember they blew oh, up the Boston yeah, Marathon? Yeah, yeah. That was crazy. Remember yeah. that? Well, we got to wrap up here in a second, so yeah. I'm going to take back over for some structure real quick. Two things I wanted to go over before. We, we got to go over the picks and the preview before we end it here, but yeah. the XFL just announced their new teams and logos, and I feel like it would be fun for us to pick an XFL team and root for as a group. Did Austin get one? No, but the, the, which made me, there's three fucking Texas teams, and none of them. It's so was like, it Houston, okay, right? Dallas. So we got the Arlington Renegades, which is Dallas. That's why we have the DC Defenders. We have the Houston Roughnecks. <laughs> we have the Orlando Guardians. The San Antonio Br- 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 Brahmas. Oh yeah, Brahmas, like a fucking bull or some shit. Uh, Seattle Sea Dragons, the St. Louis Battlehawks, I'm a and battle the Vegas Hawk. Vipers. I'm picking the St. Louis Battlehawks. St. Louis Battlehawks is who kinda, we're going I kind of fuck with the Guardians. I kind of fuck with the the Sea Dragons. I kind of like the Sea Dragons. Those were going to be my second. One of you's got to be a Viper, man. Come Seattle on. Seattle Sea Dragons. Dale, you, Dale, you be a Vegas Viper. Yeah, Vegas dude, home oh, team. Fuck, I kind of yeah. yeah. Right. I'll root for Seattle. You can root for St. Louis. Does Philly have Vegas. one? No, they didn't give one to Philly. What the I'll fuck? Be a Vegas I think Viper. it's because they know they're like we I'm, wouldn't. We'd be like fuck that. How is Arlington a better market than Austin? Because it's just Dallas. I mean, but like still, Dallas has other professional teams to give a fuck about. Put it in uh, Austin where there's that would no be smart. professional team. I don't know why they aren't looking at how well Austin FC uh, has been embraced in this city and being like wow this yeah, yeah they actually it's also the sports. one of the, it's the most growing city yeah. like why would you not put a team in here unless facebook's a building metaverse in here and they know something and the expansion the buffalo team. bills i doubt there's no nah, way they, I don't they win the super bowl yeah, yeah. they're not going yeah. anywhere. i also they don't then it doesn't john bon jovi own the bills now or did he try and buy them i think he tried and buy them that would be cool if he did. He's got that. But money. there's no chance the Bills leave Buffalo. Nah, yeah. Because no, that would be just a false. Step that would be sure. even worse if 
Well, I mean, they're definitely considering it, but that would be if the Bills left Buffalo, that would be even worse than the Raiders leaving Oakland. I think Austin gets an NBA team before they get an NFL team. Definitely, we could, yeah, we should get an NBA team because the NBA, I think, is going to expand soon because they yeah, want a team maybe back hockey, in hockey because hockey has been really expanding. Not that uh, I mean, yeah, I don't maybe. know how the great the market would be, but it, but like yeah, if they're know. looking, Dallas to is already you know They've got like, a thriving minor league team here. So yeah, the true. Austin Stars. That's true. Uh, Okay, so you want to give her picks? Yeah. Okay. First off, week eight, we didn't have any picks this week. We were all vi- violently hung oh. over Sunday, and no one. Fuck I didn't that. even think about picks until today. I didn't watch football at all. Yeah, they. All I didn't watch. I watched. They all slept all day until I took them to the strip club. Yeah. So. I literally w- watched the Eagles game, and the second Gardner Minshew came in, I went to bed. Like I was not feeling good. <laughs> so. That's funny. So did everyone else. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> So we went back and counted the picks. Yes. So Dale has the official pick count. So now we know, and then we're go. We'll go into week nine recap down the pod. What's the picks looking like? Okay. So uh, believe it or not, Brandon is ahead now. What the hell? I had yes. a good week. The good, the good week, baby. Brandon, had a rough week. He's fifty-one. You're. You have forty-nine. How bad of a week did? It, how many did I get wrong? I have forty-three. I know I did get a few because I I picked the Jags. And it was two weeks ago now. Two weeks ago. Because it wasn't uh, this week. We didn't do right. picks this week. So uh, it was like, uh, uh. I gained you in that too, where there was all the crazy upsets and the Eagles right. want to buy and shit. Like that week is when I really caught the fuck up on what took the a lead. hell. Because you guys were within two before that anyways, right. really. So wow. so you're up yeah. two on me now? Is that what yeah, he's up two. I'm um, wow. down by four. Four Ish. behind or five behind you. Oh, sorry, um, five, yeah. Okay, so week nine going Six. in. So yeah, we don't have much week eight recap. Eagles moved to seven and zero. Rams helped your bet at least, so you don't have to do maybe not have to do the Michael Phelps I just, challenge. I'm, I'm sad that we didn't fucking trade Jalen Ramsey. Yeah, that sucks. I'd like to get rid of him at this point. You're Come not on. going to. Um, okay, so week nine, Thursday night football. I'm taking Eagles over Texans. We will be there. We will be drunk. We will be having fun. I don't see a world where the Texans beat the Eagles. Are you guys? What would happen if you did? Are you guys gonna fucking riot? I'll kill the. Uh, no, I'm not gonna say what. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you what I was gonna say off mic. Um, yeah, was that yeah. was that like some Mel Gibson stuff? Yeah, or? basically. Uh, <laughs> takeoff died today. Yeah, yeah, that That's, was sad. All right, That's so tough. so they might have the powers of takeoff. Yeah, is he a Texan though? No, he just yeah. no, he thinks he's from Atlanta. They're all he from Atlanta. In Houston, he's in Houston. He, yeah, he died in Houston. Houston. Yeah, but his he's ghost just goes back to Atlanta. So yeah. take Falcons money line this week. That's true. Yeah. Um, <laughs> That's Sunday night football. Uh, Chiefs versus Titans. I got Chiefs. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. I don't know why. Yeah, I don't know why you take the Titans. Monday Night Football. Ravens over Saints. Who do you guys got? Well, <sighs> this is actually, I don't know. Uh, I will. I'll just say Ravens because that's a better bet. But also, the Ravens have had some times where they disappoint, and and f- Saints have done the opposite, where randomly they just fucking play fantastic. And they're also always really close in their losses. Yeah. But I'm gonna go with the Ravens. I yeah. think they're gonna take I, that's it. That's the smart way to go. Yeah. I mean, I had written down for the so best and worst game. I have the best game being Rams versus Bucks, simply off the fact that I think it's two franchises that like have to prove themselves. Like this is yeah. a huge week because whoever loses, their season's not done, but it's in trouble because I both you both are like your records are both not that great, right? Are you like both three and four. Uh, three and three four. four. So like going into it, you got like. To move to three and five almost ends your season yeah. at that point. Or at least now you got to make a wild card run. Like it, it's it's you're in trouble. So I think this is a huge week for both teams. Which we're is already be a great game. kind of fucked. So we're already kind of needing wild card run either way because yeah. the fucking Niners, you know, fuck them. Yeah. Uh, but it's, uh, yeah, it, it really is. Like if we don't make the playoffs this year, dude. Like what the fuck? What the fuck? Stafford's going to retire. Probably. I would honestly. I would even just tell him, like, yeah, dude, you're fucking just. just dude, go. and then yeah, if Brady loses, I mean, Brady can't lose and retire though, and throw away his life and marriage and then retire. That would just be ridiculous. Dude, uh, yeah, this is like an end of an era. It's like really happening, like right bit, before, yeah. our, like like in dramatic, very fast fashion, like Rogers. Whoever the Packers are playing, I almost picked for the worst game of the week because I was just like watching him as sad now. Well, he's got no one to fucking throw to. It's just, and you can tell he doesn't want to be. He wants to host Jeopardy, dude. <laughs> yeah, he's it, you know the Packers are falling apart. The Bucks are falling apart. Matt Stafford, he's gonna be gone. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I have um, I have the worst game though of the week being Colts versus Pats. Don't want to watch 
I just don't want to watch that. Like, and that's yeah. funny because ten years ago that would be the game of the week. Oh, exactly. Yeah, Brady mm. versus Manning. That's the shit. But it's like I don't want to watch Sam Ellinger or Matt Ryan versus fucking Zappy, Billy Zappy, or, or <laughs> Bailey Zappy, Bailey Zappy or Mac Jones. Dude, Zappy's got a dog in him though. They picked like there's, fucking... there's there's just a battle of white names: Mac, Sam, Bailey, <laughs> and and uh, Matt. Matt, wait, Matt, Mac, Bailey, and yeah, and fucking Sam. Yeah, I mean, yeah, you're I, you're not wrong. That's a shitty. Any any time the Colts are playing right now is kind of just the game. They're that gross I don't watch. to watch. Yeah. yeah, fuck no. All right, boys, wrapping up the podcast here. Good week. Yep. See you guys next week. Thank you for tuning in. Third inches. Please yeah. make sure you rate, review, and subscribe. We appreciate you guys for tuning in. And See please you. watch the Passion of the Christ. Support yeah. support Mel Gibson. No, I'm kidding. All right. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs>